This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. In this video, we will be learning about shell rot, respiratory infection, and swollen eye and terrapins. So what causes shell rot and how do you spot it? Shell rot can happen because of fungi and bacterial infection, as well as physical injury from a fight or aggressive behaviour. If shell rot is present, white spots will appear on the shell of the turtle as seen in the picture. Comparing this to the turtle in the picture you have just seen, this terrapin has a completely green shell. This is what a normal turtle with no shell rot should look like. So how do you treat shell rot? Chlorhexidine solution is used to clean off the debris first, and then the turtle is scrubbed daily with antifungal shampoo. After shampooing the turtle, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory cream are rubbed onto the shell of the turtle. Oral antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medicine is also prescribed. Now let's find out what causes respiratory infections in terrapins and how do we spot it. Vitamin A deficiency due to a poor diet is a common cause, while bacterial infection is also another factor. On how to spot for respiratory infection, look out for runny nose and swollen eyes, as well as a lack of motion and lopsidedness when the turtle is in water. This is what a normal terrapin should look like when in water. As you can see, it is swimming actively and has a sense of balance. Now, let's take a look at another terrapin. Unlike the first terrapin, this one does not swim even when disturbed and you can see that it floats sideways on water. Special attention should be paid to this symptom as this might mean that the turtle has pneumonia and one of its lungs is starting to be filled with fluid, which is what causes it to swim lopsided. Now, let's find out what causes swollen eyes and terrapins. One common reason is an unhygienic environment, such as dirty water which is full of bacteria and can cause an infection. Vitamin A deficiency can also be a cause, as well as respiratory infection, as mentioned earlier. So how do you care for a turtle? Here are some pointers to ensure a proper environment for pet turtles to live in. Number 1. Turtles need a basking area like a large rock in order to dry off and heat their bodies to proper temperature. This is also important to prevent development of fungus on the shell. It is also good to have a combination of a hot and dry location with a cool and sheltered spot. Additionally, a UV light or just natural sunlight is important for turtles to produce vitamin D3 and to utilize the nutrients in their body. Lastly, you should change your water in your turtle's tank daily to ensure a clean environment. It is also worth mentioning that turtles should be fed a variety of foods such as meat, vegetables and fruits to ensure that they obtain optimal nutrients and minerals. For more information, please visit topayovets.com. Thank you for watching.